So as many of you may or may not know, we have a map making competition going on where if you so choose, you can create a mini Nexus of levels. So one of the things we thought we'd go over this episode as well is what is special about making a Nexus? I know I started my Nexus relatively recently and I ran into a couple of things when I was making it. So why don't we get started with that, Skyhawk? Yeah. So for the first thing, making a Nexus, it's pretty similar to just making a level. You can just build your geometry, that kind of thing. The interesting part happens when you get to making your doors. Uh, I won't really talk about uh, Nexus design. We'll leave that up to people to decide. Allowing players to noodle in the Nexus is the most ne important part of yeah. Nexus design. Nexus noodling is very nice. There we go. We got yeah. a prize winning Nexus. Yeah. All right, great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I did that. Uh that's okay. I can I can fix that here. There are scripts for that. Uh okay. Uh this is kind of Uh, it's, uh um, a notice to all people. Remember to playtest your maps. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very important to playtest, otherwise I would never have noticed this. Uh, okay. Uh, this is layer 17, and I want to move it to layer 19. Uh, sure, let's copy one. No, no, let's not copy. Alright, run continuous. There we go. Oh. There. Perfect. All better. Alright. Done. Also a reminder that people in the community that make tools are amazing. Yeah, the tools are very nice. Oh, and this is this is all messed up now. Uh... There we go. That's all better. All right. Funny enough, I made that same mistake recently on a map that I'm making. <laughs> I just uh, jumped over an edge and realized there wasn't any ground there. Alright, so, doors. So if we go into triggers, and we find door, and we place one, here we go, we see on the left we have two text boxes. Uh, question from chat is there a place with most of the info about map making is compiled into nice uh, tutorial including dust mod stuff there isn't really that's kind of what we're, we're hoping for this to eventually be is just a nice list of uh, hopefully quick tutorials although it's we might ramble a little bit um, but yeah there's not really currently a nice place to get all this information but Hopefully over time that changes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So this, I'm actually going to talk about the second number first. Uh, I don't, do I have the link ready? Yeah, here we go. So I'm going to post this link in chat. Uh, this is a link to all of the different door types. Um, I can't really, can I show this on stream? I'm not sure how. Eh. I will... It, just leave it in chat and people can click on it on it themselves. If the chat VOD uh, ends up just getting deleted, then uh, I'll make sure that this is pinned in the map making channel of the Discord. 
So if anybody in the future is watching this, sure, it'll be in the video description as well. That works. All right. So we can see here that uh, zero is this transparent door. And so if we just play the map like this, it's just invisible. Uh, but let's find one of the mansion looking doors. So here we go. One is unlocked mansion. So we change that and then, ooh, actually that's a good thing to notice here. So when we change this number and then we tab in for the first time, it doesn't actually change. It's like it, it forgot to update. And so whenever you're working with doors, just kind of spam tab a little bit because <laughs> the second time around it should update. So here, change it to one. First time it didn't update, it's still transparent. Second time it did. So just spamming it a little bit is usually a good idea when you're working with these things. Yeah, they can be a bit finicky. Yeah. Uh, let's say we want this to be nicer. We want it to be the gold color. So, oh, right, it didn't update. We got a spam tab. There we go. Now it's all better. And then we can just put one up here and one over here. And there we go. We've got some nice ones. Oh, and then we need a back nexus door. So let's put one here and let's make it look a little bit different. There we go. Beautiful nexus. And Skyhawk, for that back nexus door, what do we put to make sure that it is back nexus? Yeah. So for the back nexus door, there's a special thing that you put in this top uh, text box, and it's just underscore back underscore. And then we spam tab a little bit to make it work. And now we see that this is just a back nexus door. And so it'll take you back to whatever nexus you were in last. So in this case, because I'm playing it through the editor, it'll take me to the main nexus. But if this nexus got put into dust mod at some point, then it would take me back to the nexus gallery or the community nexus whatever it branched off from. Yeah. Uh, as for actual level doors, here let's find some levels to put into this nexus. Uh, let's take some of these CMJ levels that uh, we were just looking at. So what you're going to want to do is go and find the dustkid.com page for your level, uh, because that will have the exact spelling and capitalization that you want in your nexus door so here i have delo's 30 minute volcano uh, i go to its dust kid page and i just type in the level name here so 30 dash min dash volcano and then the number 10699 there we go and then we spam tab a little bit to make it work and then we come up here and we see 30 minute volcano got some suggestions from chat sure let's uh let's get some of these in all right uh, all right let me just find these maps uh, we go to their desk kit page uh, there we go so we see that cyber complex is capitalized cyber Complex 7503. And then we come to this door and we've got uh, John Cena Difficult 4805. And just to, to reiterate, the capitalization here is very important because that'll be the leaderboard that it goes to on dustkid.com. So if you have like a lowercase d difficult here, then it won't show up on the uppercase d leaderboard that everybody else's replays are going to when they play it off of Atlas. Uh, it'll create a completely new page on Duskid, and so you want to avoid that. So make sure that it's the same capitalization. Yeah, definitely been a mistake that's come up before. Yeah, yeah, it's it's tricky to fix. All right, and there we go. Now we have some some levels in here. Um, let's talk about, yeah, good question. How do you assign keys to doors? So the key type of a level is not actually part of the Nexus itself. So let's go and 
make a, or well, let's use this level, why not? So let's uh, give it an end trigger, why not? Uh, there we go. All right, so here's our level. It's a very good level. If we go into level yeah. settings here, uh, you, we can see that key get type is available in the dust mod editor. This isn't available in vanilla, so if you want to mess with this, and actually I should mention the Nexus level type itself isn't available in the vanilla editor, so you definitely want dust mod if you want to work with these things. Uh, key get type up here is what type of key the level gives you. So it's not uh, like exclusively uh, wood key levels give you silver keys, silver key levels give you gold keys. Uh, that's not built into like the levels. It's just this level, whatever door you put it in, it will give you whatever its key get type is. So one is uh, actually here, you know what? Let's let's go and check. Let's if you forget, how can you find out? Because I have forgotten and I need to find out. Let's go into some levels that we know what key they give you. So if we come into downhill, we come into our settings, we look at the key get type. Key get type is actually four. So uh, hmm. downhill, I guess because in original Dust Force, they didn't have wood keys. Uh, so they kind of added it in at the last minute, and that's why it's the higher number. Oh, right. Uh, but if we come to a... Uh, I'm gonna have to actually play these levels to unlock these doors to find out what their key type is. Alright, here we go. Uh, or you could go into dust pod settings and hit new game plus. You know what, that's a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean really, Skyhawk, who wants to play downhill? Good point. <laughs> Duo on red key run. A minute and a half if you're good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we already found out that wood is four. We don't have to go into downhill again, thank goodness. Alright. Valley gives a silver key, which is key type one. And... Just walk over to Night Temple. Yeah, walk. <laughs> uh, Night Temple gives you a red key, which is key type three. Silver then door by you omission, gold, gold should be two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so silver one, gold two, red three, wood four. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So if we come back to our level, uh, let's say... So how do you set the locks on the doors then? Yeah, let's say we want this to give a gold key, which was two. There we go. So now when we upload this level, when people play it, it'll give a gold key when they assess it. Now we come back to this, and we come back to our door type paste bin. Uh, we see that a locked door just has a different ID number. So if we come over here, we want this to be a locked gold door that is type 3. And so now you can only... Oh, spam tab a bit. Uh... Oh, right, I'm in New Game Plus. All doors are unlocked. Oh, I'd probably oh Skyhawk, why, why did you ever go to New Game Plus? Who gave yeah, you that idea? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if we come back here... There we go, that's a locked door type. Here we go. Now it has a lock on it, so we can't open it until we have a gold key. And so, if we come over here and we replace this difficult map with our easy map, uh, which isn't currently published. But uh, So what you would want to do is you would want to publish your levels before you link your doors. Uh, that way you know exactly what your number ID is. How does the lock on the door get determined? How does the lock on the door get determined? Uh, it's based on what number you set it here as. So three is a locked gold door. Uh, uh, so that gives you the gold key lock specifically. Yeah, it, it yeah, 
Uh, so for example, if I wanted this to only be openable with a silver key, then I come over to my list and I see locked silver door is two and I can set it to two. And so now this requires a silver key to be unlocked. Okay. So is there no way to have the gold outline with a silver lock then? That is correct. You cannot have the gold outline with a silver lock. The silver outline is inherent to the silver door. Okay. Um, and then down at the bottom here, similar to how wood key get type was for, uh, the wooden door types are at the bottom of this list. So uh, 22 is the wood mansion door. Ah, uh, yeah, let's find out what sublayer these are on. Good point. Uh, let's see, use this. Uh, this is sublayers, yeah. Red doors are on sublayer six. Regular doors. Oh wait, they're on eighteen, right? Yeah, eighteen. Uh, zero. Yeah, it seems like they're on zero. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, sometimes Great. I guess just things won't be shown here because they're less common. So you can just kind of play with these layers to try to find which one it's on. And so yeah. Uh, another thing, I'm I'm hesitant to actually try this, but you know what? It's it's for science, so let's do it. Um. What happens if I actually try to beat a level here? Uh, what level gives a gold key? Uh, I'm trying to remember the file name of a level. Let's see. Levels. Uh, what's it called? Canopy something. Yeah. Dark Force Nexus. Oh, oh no, I'm, I was looking at like, uh, <laughs> here, okay, you know what, mezzanine. Let's just, ch mezzanine is easy. Oh, you're thinking even just yeah. base level. Uh, or short level boxes. And boxes is a wood key level, so it gives a silver key. So let's change this to a silver door. All right. So what happens when we go and we play this level and we get a key from it? Oh, I didn't realize you could just make a nexus for the base levels as well. Yeah, any file that's in your any of your levels folders you can just link a door to those levels hmm all right so uh we should get a key from this there we go we see at the bottom we have one silver key so we come over here and we unlock this and then we can play this level Yeah, if we wanted to go play the ancient uh, Nexus, uh, what was it called? I think Nexus 2, or Nexus V3, I think it was called. Oh, yeah, that's another problem. Uh, when you come back through a Nexus, you get this editor in read-only mode, which is kind of a problem. Uh, you can override it just by spamming Control S, or if you want to not have to deal with it, you just back Nexus, and then you come back in. Now you can save yeah, normally just again. make sure you're uh, saving mm -hmm. your work often if you're working on a nexus and you actually want to test levels within it yeah another quirk the the player spawn will move to the last location that you went into the last door so just make sure that you put your spawn back where you want it uh, or another option you can do to kind of fix that is go tools save new game that'll clear any uh, Nexus save location information you have, so you can just get back to your standard Nexus location. Yeah, I remember that's one of the things I found really weird when I was working with Nexuses for the first time. Yeah. Um, another thing that a lot of Nexuses will have is tomes. So, 
it's uh, a little bit hard to find them. Tomes are in the Entities tab. If we scroll down near the bottom, it is this completely transparent box here. So this is a tome. And then we click it and we place one. We get uh, this kind of endpoint and a trigger that's connected to it. And then uh, let's go, let's put a little pedestal here and a little book on the pedestal to indicate that it's a tome. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. So the format for tomes is, uh, you'll just see this blank text box here. And as we type things in, you'll get more text boxes. So you can enter from the, the top or the bottom, but you can't really get into the middle. So if you want to change things in the middle, you just have to delete from the ends until you get there. Um, but the first thing in the tome is always just the text that shows up. Uh, so level select is usually common, or if you want like, or maybe if you have multiple tomes of levels, you could have like, uh, something like that, whatever you want. And then the next thing is the file name of the Nexus that it's linked to. Uh, and that's just important for uh, connecting it to the save data. So like knowing uh, what ranks you have on each level when it displays them in the tome or knowing to save your Nexus location, that kind of thing. Uh, so currently our file is called nexus thing and then after that you just enter in all of the level IDs you want. So here we have uh, cyber complex cyber complex and again important to have capitalization here and we have Yep, wouldn't want somebody to get an SS on the wrong map. Yep. Especially not on the seven minute long wrong map. There we go. And then we spam tab a few times to make it work. And then we come over here and we have Atoma levels. And we can see the leaderboards on the right. And that's all we need. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, uh, and another thing, there's uh, dust mod features still work in the Nexus. So for example, you can have scripts in the Nexus and they will still work. Sub layers will still work. And another one that might be surprising is that scaling props still works. So you can still use these in the Nexus and it'll just be fine. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it'll just not work at all on vanilla if you have scaled props or if it'll just scale them back to normal. But on dust mod, it'll appear the way you want it. And I think that's all that I wanted to talk about for nexuses. Let's go check out some other nexuses and just see what they've done. Yeah. Luckily, we have a great selection to look at in the Nexus gallery. Oh, hey. Yeah. New Genesis. You could right say here. that we have a Nexus of Nexuses. <laughs> uh, so here, again, back door is underscore back underscore. Uh, we can see that this rock door type is five. Uh, here, we've got the level IDs. And then if we go forward a bit more, we have these locked door types. Uh, so this is type 24 for the wooden door. And if we come back to one of these levels and we go into it, we can see that the level get type here is four, or key get type, sorry. So this level gives a wooden key and then you can use it back in this nexus to open this wood door. Let's fix the colors. There we go. And then over here we've got silver doors, the same type that we were working with before, type 2. And then we have gold level doors over here. 
And then we also have some red key doors here, uh, which didn't really talk about. So uh, let's look at uh, here. Let's go dust mod uh, save new game. Yeah. Yeah, red key doors are kind of special because they don't work the same way as normal doors. Yeah. So it uh, playing a level that gives a red key is still kind of the same. Uh, here, let me cheat. Uh, yes, you are correct. Uh, but actually placing down the red key doors, I believe those are just entities, correct? Uh, yes, doors are, or yeah, the red key doors are just entities. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to actually SS this level, huh? Uh, hmm. Quite right. confident, let's, Skyhawk. Let's cheat more. Let's uh, what's what's a level that gives gives a red key? Uh, an easy level that gives Night a red temple. key. Night temple. Wild then. Uh. Oh, that's not alleyway. Oh, what's alleyway called? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, Wild Den. Or is it just called Den? Yeah, it's just called Den. You think Den. I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the, the stock file names are kind of weird. I don't know, can you tell me what the name of uh, Night Temple is? Uh, it's hyper difficult. I think hideout is just hideout. Forget what the other odd ones are. I know there's a few. Yeah, we saw boxes earlier for construction site. Yep. Alright. So, we should have a red key now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mary 2 is the one I was thinking of, but I don't remember what the actual level is. Alright. Um, so... We have red key doors. If we go into the entities list, we have red key doors here. We can place them. And they they have this number under them. Uh, so we can see here that this one says one, this one says two, this one says three. And this way you can actually give an order to the doors that maybe isn't uh, just the default order that they appear in. So this number is the number of keys you have to have total to unlock them. So, if you have one key, you can unlock this door. If you have two, or have ever had two, like when you open the second one, uh, then it'll open this door. And the third key ever that you get will open this one. So, uh, I'm actually not sure quite how this functions with two distinct doors that have the same number. I guess let's find out. So how if do I you come edit that here, number? Uh, you use your scroll wheel, so uh, you hover oh, over this okay. dot, and then you just scroll, and it changes this number. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. I've got my one red key from playing Wild End. I come close to this door. This one opens, but this one doesn't because it requires two red keys. If I come over here, interesting. This one also does not open. But if I go into a door or tab in and tab out, then it is now opened. So there's a I guess it's not quite hmm. intended to function this way, but yeah, so it's a little bit broken, but uh, still kind of works the way hmm. it's intended. Out of curiosity, do you think that would fix itself if you went into a level and then... Uh, fix itself in what playing? way? As in, do you think the lock would remove itself if you went to go play a level and then went yeah. back into the Nexus after? I, I do think so, yes. Yeah, I think as long as you, you reload the Nexus in some way, <laughs> uh, then yeah. Any... That gives me some interesting ideas. <laughs> yeah, so when you come back into the Nexus, any red key door that should be open based on the number will probably end up just opening. Uh, hmm. But yeah, worth experimenting with. Here, let me change these all to one. You can have secret, secret levels. Yeah. There we go, now they're all open, because I have one red key. It's yeah, you amazing. can Metroidvania your unlocks. That'd be kind of a neat <laughs> thing to do. 
right. Oh, man. You just opened up so many level possibilities for Nexuses. Uh, yeah. I think that is really it now. Uh, we talked about the red key locks. We talked about regular doors. We talked about locking those doors. We talked about getting keys from levels. We talked about making a tome. We talked about the back keyword. Uh, Do you want to talk... Was there something on Nexus checkpoints you wanted to talk about? Or um, was that just the moving of the oh, player? Thing? Yeah, I think it's just uh, when you enter a door, it sets your Nexus checkpoint there. Okay. So, uh, otherwise, checkpoints just function normally, I think. So here, I'm in a checkpoint here, okay. I go and I die, and it brings me back to this checkpoint. Yep, sounds good. Same I just know you. Yeah. It had come up in conversation once or twice, yep. I think. Yeah, gotcha. And all these colors are messed up because I walked through a fuck trigger. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think that's all from my end as well. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I will say thank you anybody for coming and watching. We will be back on the 15th with the previous competition winners to talk about their competition maps. Yeah, so we will have uh, Twinkie... Epon and Big Diesel in to talk about uh, their three maps in the competition last year. And speaking of which, just a general reminder that the competition ends in about a month, so yeah. if you're looking to get either a map or a nexus, make sure you're uh, getting on that. Yeah, August 31st is the deadline. Yeah, their previous competition maps. Not their current ones. Yeah, previous competition maps. <laughs> Current competition maps will be after the competition. Alright. I, I think uh, me and Skyhawk got a couple of things to talk about on mine at the very least. Yeah. Alright, well, if anybody else wants to stream, I can probably raid them. Yeah, who wants a free raid today? Until then, we'll I'm wait. just going to keep uh, looking at Nexuses. Oh, this one has custom music. Thank you, J-Dude. Oh, J-Dude finally finished it? Oh, J-Dude finished it a while ago. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I guess it kind of went under the radar. There wasn't an announcement or anything, but yeah, CC3 has a Nexus. Hell yeah. I'll need to actually make sure I go and check this out then. Because that was one of the uh, things I wasn't liking while grinding CCs, that it didn't have a Nexus for a oh, CC3. One of, the, one of the funny things uh, is the way that he's got these props set up in the background. I think it's funny how they kind of fly in. And then he's also got a link to uh, the old Cyber Complex Nexus, so you can just have Nexuses linked to other Nexuses. Oh god, so many triggers. Yeah, right? <laughs> Do those actually all have a point? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's another neat thing. Is you can have uh, tomes that link to nexuses. And on the right here, it'll give a score for the players, uh, like for that nexus overall. If it's uh, one of the preset ones. So it has to be already linked oh. on those mod. Callistus coming in on the enable disable pack. Yeah. Alright. Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody else is streaming, so. Go back and forth between Nexuses. <laughs> I think, actually, uh, it doesn't do that. If you go through a door, even if it's not a back Nexus door, if it leads to the previous nexus you were in, then it'll just go back up the tree rather than go deeper into the tree with the same nexus in a row. But I think if you had like a loop of three nexuses, then you could make it work. Uh, but then you can just shortcut it anyway with mouse exit. Or wait. Yeah, two nexuses away. Here, if I, if I mouse exit this door. There we go. Exit level, mouse exit.
Bam, I'm back at the top. All right. I will sign off then. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good day. Yeah, have a nice day, everyone. See you guys next time.